Hello, I'm Angela Wamboy, and here's the news in two minutes. Journalist Joshua Absang's lawyer, Katwa Kigen, says he will be challenging the latest move by ICC prosecutor Futu Bensuda to introduce alternative charges to Song's case. He has told Capital Newsbeat that he will be protesting Bensuda's intention to use same facts of the crimes he is facing to accuse Song of alternative charges based on same facts. Keegan holds that the prosecutor's move is unfair since the trial is at the tail end and the move can only serve to prolong the case. Keegan further opines that the prosecutor has realized that her case against Song is weak and is now trying to resort to other means to salvage the situation. Song was indicted in 2011 on three counts of crimes against humanity for murder, forcible transfer of population, and persecution during the 2008 post-election violence. Tensions remain high in Kitangela town following last night's killing of a person in what is linked to yesterday's market closure. The man was lynched by an irate group of Boda Boda riders who accused him of chopping off a customer's ear in a bar. Two groups divided over the market closure have been gathering since morning with counter accusations on what led to the closure that was ordered by area governor David Nkediagne. The Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission says it is working round the clock to finalize pending cases involving high-profile individuals in the country. EACC Deputy Secretary Michael Mubea has told Capital Newsbeat that they will be forwarding more files to the Director of Public Prosecutions soon for further action. Head of Corruption and Economic Crimes in the Office of the Director of Public Prosecutions, Emily Kamau, on her part says it has been difficult to get witnesses to testify against colleagues and bosses named on the list. She says numerous court petitions filed by suspects to stop them from being charged have also derailed and frustrated their work. So far, EACC has forwarded 59 files to the DPP, who has acted on 58 of them, with the commission now yet to conclude 124 others. For more on these and other stories, make sure you like and subscribe on our YouTube channel at Capital FM Kenya. I'm Angela Wamboy.